Um, basically, you know, we just saw it as a as a challenge that we had to, you know, be at our best. Um, obviously, you know, a game like that, you know, you want to make sure you're playing your best ball. And we just, uh, guys were just locked in, guys were just focused, and we knew we had an opportunity to, you know, to kind of show what our defense was about. And, you know, a lot of good things happened on Saturday for us. Neville, you put so much emotion into that one. How do you make sure you keep the intensity the rest of the way? I mean, you know, the biggest thing, you know, is just uh, our coaches talk about that smart aggression, you know, keeping that poise. But uh, understand, you know, it's football. You know, you're going to have emotions throughout the game. But, you know, just understanding that, you know, we still have a job to do. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, as good as, you know, we play, there's, there's always an opportunity that we need to be better. So um, that's probably, like, the biggest thing. Coach Grinch had talked about, you know, that you guys were close to being a great practice team. When you guys are going through Mondays and Tuesdays, can you talk about just kind of what you've seen from from your teammates and, and and how that's different maybe from the past? Um, just seeing that focus, you know, just throughout, you know, all three sides of the ball, you know, everybody comes with that obviously that intensity, but just a uh, willingness to pay attention to detail, um, focus, and just having that maximum effort even when you know things don't go as, uh, according to plan. So uh, I feel like that's working out for us. When so. you when you get to watch this film back and you see people flying to the ball, you see the big hits, is that something that motivates everyone to go out and, and practice even harder? Uh, I think I think so, but, you know, that's definitely something that, you know, hasn't happened overnight. That's just kind of how we've been wired, you know. Um, it's basically, you know, everything we do, we do it in practice. You know, every whether it's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, doesn't matter what practice we're going to be. We're going to fly around. Um, we're going to be mentally locked in. And, you know, that was just kind of – that game was just an example of that. Can you talk about, uh, you know, more out there and you talk about, you know, playing better in the future. <clears throat> Where do you want to get better at than, than what we saw on Saturday? What is it that you need to improve on as a team? Um, again, you know, consistency is always one thing, you know, you can't really uh, talk less about, you know, just want to be consistent. Um, as a team, you know, just being more disciplined and, you know, again, just that trust factor, guys being able to trust each other, trust the coaching, and just, you know, just continue to be effective. Now, how much pride do you guys take in how far you've come from a year? The, the, whatever your mental state was walking off the Cotton Bowl turf last year compared to how, how you felt walking off Saturday? Um, I feel, you know, I definitely feel like, you know, we've, de we've grown, obviously, but, you know, again, um, last year, this year, two completely different teams, but I feel like, you know, we're taking steps and um, um, just understanding that we every game we have is always another level that we can hit and just seeing guys, you know, just come together uh, is the biggest thing for us. Neville, how big of a concern is it that the, the turnover numbers haven't come, uh, especially these last few weeks, and, and why do you think that's been? Um, it, it is a big deal for us because it is something that we, we harp on. Um, and again, you know, I guess sometimes, you know, it just doesn't go as according to plan, but, you know, that just means you have to work that much harder because at uh, the end of the day, we still got standards for ourselves and as a defense. So, you know, no matter like what everyone else sees, you know, when we don't meet our standard, you know, we, we got to go back and try our best to make sure we meet that and pass that. How much has it been? Just circumstance versus maybe something y'all aren't doing uh, to force those? And do you feel like those are going to come? You know, I, again, <clears throat> as we uh, continue to prepare, continue to focus on the little things, you know, I, I definitely anticipate that those will come. Obviously, fortunate when it doesn't happen, but you just got to keep working until we get it. As one of the veterans on the defensive line, what do you think about the, the youngsters coming along with you in, in, on that? defensive line? I think it's great. Um, I think it's great to see young guys, uh, you know, just not being afraid of the moment, you know, just being able to step up and, you know, contribute to the team. And the fact that we're seeing more and more young guys make plays and be more consistent, that's a credit to them. And it just makes our, our team like that much better. Neville, how important was the first drive, <clears throat> the, your, your first drive out there the other day when you, you know, Kenneth has the big stop on the screen and you have the sack. I mean, what, did that sort of set the tone, do you feel like, for Saturday? Um, I feel like, you know, it was, it was a solid start. Um, but I feel like, you know, that's our job. In that front seven, our job is to set the tone, you know, whatever. 
but you know it was a it was just great to see uh you know guys were started off hungry and you know were able to kind of finish that up but again you know everything starts up front so it's kind of our job to you know kind of set the tone and have everybody you know locked in and ready to go coach riley always talks about avoiding the outside noise last couple of weeks you've been getting a lot of attention what's the biggest challenge in avoiding the outside noise to be honest i don't really see it as a challenge just because you know i know you know again it goes back to you know what i want to do to be effective for the team so i really you know listen to what other people got to say you know outside noise it doesn't really affect me you know just more so listen to my teammates and my coach and that's like the biggest influence because i know end of the day you know a lot of people good or bad doesn't know what goes goes on in the locker room and stuff so i mean as far as outside noise you know it goes in one ear out the other I don't know if people understand that haven't watched this program the last few years, but what does it mean to you guys on the defensive side of the ball when you have guys like CD and Jalen talking about how thankful they are for the defense picking up the offense? Feels good. I mean, obviously, I've been here long enough to know what what it's like having another conversation. But you know, it just goes to show that the work that we put as a defense is starting to come together. And you know, the great thing about it is that we still got like again another level another gear that we can hit. But just to seeing that, you know, guys are improving every weekend and that hunger, you know, it's always there and it keeps building. So I think that's like, a, that's a great thing. Was it, did it mean something special um, to go through that game with Jalen? He said at the end of it, you know, put that OU DNA in me. It seemed like, you know, just listening to him on the podium, it's, it brought him closer to this team. Did it bring you guys closer to him? I mean, of course. Uh, but like I said, you know, what you guys have heard, you know, We've all grinded together throughout the spring and the summertime. So, you know, the conversation that you guys are hearing, you know, where obviously it's been a little bit more deeper than that. But it, it's good to, it was good to hear him say that. Obviously, you know, to your guys' credit, to, for you guys to hear. But, you know, uh, we know how close we've gotten. And, you know, he's a part of this program. He's family. And, you know, he, he's definitely made this place his own. Did they, Neville, did they put more than, uh, the, you saw a lot of shackle for the Saturday, right? The, the Texas Center. Did they help? Give help to him when they were trying to block you, or was it mostly one on one with Shackleford? Say that again. Did you, when you were rushing uh, the, their quarterback Saturday, was that mostly Shackleford you had to get through, or were they helping on you, Texas blocking? I mean, you know, they they had their schemes as to how to want to block me. You know, sometimes I got one on one, sometimes getting double team. He was a part of it, but you know, again, defensively, we were able to get home and still be effective. Are you getting doubled more often this year than in the past? <laughs> I'd say so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Take that as a sign that you're making an impact, I guess, right? I guess so, yeah. yeah.